Insiders, welcome back. I hope you made a long list of different informative places that you could write about. Writers, for day number two for this unit, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna choose our topic. So grab that list, your brainstorm list, and take a look at your list. So remember yesterday you helped out with Miss Ma'am's list. I made my list of different places that I know a lot about or places I wanna learn about. So on my list, I have New York, Hawaii, Eagle Rock, the movie theaters. Now what you're gonna do today, you're gonna look at your list. So you should have your list out right now. And then you are gonna choose one of these topics as your first book. Now, the beautiful thing about this is you can always go back to this list and make another book for another topic. So don't worry if there's lots of topics you love, just choose one, choose your favorite one to start with. So I'm gonna think, think, think. What do I want to first start my very first informative place book about? Hmm. Do I want to write it about Eagle Rock? I mean, I do know a lot about it, but it's not making me really excited. So maybe not Eagle Rock for now. I might, I might come back next time, but not now. Um, movie theaters. It's been a really long time since I've been at a movie theater because of the pandemic. And feels like I kind of forgot what it's like. So I don't think I'm gonna write it on the movie theaters this time around. Um, friends, between New York and Hawaii, I really wanna to go to Hawaii this summer. So I think it would be fun to write a book about it and also to do some more research before I actually go. So I think I'm gonna choose Hawaii. That's gonna be my topic. Did you look at your list? What are you choosing? Let me see. <gasps> mm, I see some choose, Friends are choosing Yosemite, the National Park. Some friends are choosing In-N-Out, the burger place. Some friends are choosing the park, the Lakewood Park. All good choices. All right, so now that you have your topic, I have mine, mine's Hawaii. What you're gonna do today, we are gonna make the front cover. Everyone say front cover. The front cover is what you see on every single book. It's the title of the story so that people know what your book is about. So grab a piece of paper. I got mine, I'm gonna do a mini book. You can choose to do a big book, a mini book, a diagonal or not diagonal, a vertical or horizontal book. It's your choice because it's your book. So let me share my screen with you so that you can see, but I'm gonna make my front cover today. So grab a piece of paper, just like Miss Fam, and you are going to grab some markers. And, oh, sorry, friends, took you on a little roller coaster ride there. Sorry. You're going to grab crayons and a marker. Now, my book is going to be about Hawaii. So I can choose my title. You can choose a title that just says all about and then your place. Or you can get kind of creative and think of another way to introduce your book. Well, in Hawaii, the way you say hello is aloha. And I was thinking maybe I can name my book Aloha Hawaii, like hello Hawaii, so that people know that I'm writing about this beautiful island. Okay, so let me write that as well. All right, so I'm gonna write my title of the book. So my title is gonna be Aloha Hawaii. I'm gonna put an exclamation mark. Like we're saying, you're loud and proud. Aloha, Hawaii. Now you should have your title at the very top of your book. Now, before I even start decorating my title page or not my um, front cover, I wanna make sure I write my name because I am the author and I want people to know that this is the book that I wrote. So I'm gonna write by, and then I'm gonna write my name, Connie Fam. And you're gonna write your name because it's your book. All right, so I have my title, whoops, and I have who it's written by. Aloha Hawaii by Hani Pham. Now, friends, if you take a look at this front cover, if you saw this at a bookstore, would you pick it up? So you saw this at the library? Mm, I don't think so. It looks very, very boring, right? When we look at front covers, they are super beautiful and colorful, and there's pictures to tell the readers what it's about. So I need to add that. I'm gonna add some drawings to show that this book is about Hawaii. So I'm gonna think, what do I see in a place like Hawaii? And you're gonna think that too. For your place, what do you normally see? Well, it's usually very, very sunny. So I think I'm gonna add 
a sun at the very top of my book with sunshine rays coming down like that. I think I'm also going to add some clouds for the sky. Okay, and then at, in Hawaii, there's a lot of beaches. That's a big reason why I want to go. So I think I'm going to draw a beach. Add some sand over here. Lots of little dots. Maybe I'll even draw a seashell because you can find lots of that in Hawaii, little seashells. Okay, and got my sand. And now I also maybe I'm gonna add some palm trees because there's lots of palm trees in Hawaii. I'm coloring my sand first. Once I'm done with that, I'll add my palm trees. All right, so I got my sand colored in. I'm gonna draw my palm tree. Palm tree leaves. Like that. Okay. Then I'll add the water. There we go. Maybe even some birds, because there's definitely a bunch of birds who fly around the beach. I'm gonna color it in. All right, and I'm making sure that I'm coloring in all the white spots. No white spots, super high quality inside the lines. And that's what you're gonna do. On your front cover, my friends, you're gonna wanna make sure you include three mixed important things. I'm going to stop right here. I'm not finished yet, but let me talk about the three important things you need to add for your front cover. The first thing you need to make sure you have on your front cover is the title of your book. This lets your readers know what your book is about. So add a title. The second thing you're going to add is who it's by. Write the author's name. That's you. So write by and your name. And the third thing is add a beautiful picture to the front cover so that your readers know what your book is about. Now, I'm not done with this yet. As you can see, I still have the color, maybe add some more detail, but I'm going to finish this up. And now I'm going to give you some time to work on your front cover. So friends, choose your topic today and then create your da -da 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 front cover. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing what place you decide to write your informative book on. Bye writers.